In this tutorial, we will learn how to create this simple object. As you can see, this object contains faces and they are symmetric faces. And we have these edges, these insertions. It's a simple object you can use for modeling or for some interior design if you want to have some object to use it inside your scene or just to learn how to make good use of what's available in 3ds max to create some object like this one so let's get started that's the object we have created here and as you see here it's all symmetric containing these faces so let's start from scra scratch by pressing file new all i won't save anything here now let's check what we have here of standard primitive objects we can use a box if we try to use this box that's what we get and then we can change the number of faces and extrude some of them but that, that will take too much time and it will be exhausting for you we need something that is suitable to the shape we already have in here that shape it's rounded shape as you can see with these faces so maybe we can use a sphere or a geosphere if we use a geosphere and we can reduce the segments like that it can give me something similar to the one we have in our tutorial but this these faces are triangle we don't need triangles here we need angles so that's also not suitable we press delete let's check not the standard primitives we check the extended primitives and let's make use of this hydra object here let's create one and that's what we get that hydra so as you can see it's made of uh, triangles also but hydra is different because in the family of hydra you have tetra you have cube octa that is made up of uh, rectangles and triangles Doric, Octo, uh, Icos and star 1, star 2 we, we are uh, going to use the third option which is the Dodec Icos I don't really know what uh, does that mean but that's the one that is suitable to our choice so as you can see here we have different types of faces here we have this angle and we have this triangles we need to get rid of these triangles so here in the family parameters we will raise the value of q up to one the value of q will be one so the triangles will disappear okay so now let's right click convert this to editable poly so we can start the modeling process now I need to change my selection mode to polygon press ctrl a from my keyboard to select all the faces or all the polygons now i need to make this smaller so i can make the extrusion that will be done using the insert option here and remember that you don't press insert you press the settings box beside it same for other uh, edit polygon options here so press settings and change insert from group to by polygon raise the value let's make it for instance let's make it four and yeah, that's too much let's make it three and press ok so now we make it smaller we need to push it inside let's check the photo again as you can see here it's pressed inside on two stages this is the, the greater one and this is the smaller one let's minimize that and let's use the extrude and make it with a negative value let's make it minus three i think minus three is small let's make it minus 3.5 and press ok now we need to make another insert so press setting beside insert and change the value to something like 2.5 so it's smaller than the first insert 
press ok now let's do a bevel not an extrude so it it uh, gets extruded inside and at the same time it will give you that bevel curvy look so using bevel change the value to minus 2.5 and we can change this value to something like minus 1.5 i think it's uh, it's bigger than that let's shake the photo again here yeah let's make it minus 2.5 and press ok fine now we need to put this before we do the last the last piece here we need to put this inside a turbo smooth so from the modifier list scroll down until you find the turbo smooth and you will find the modifiers arranged alphabetically so check it with the t letter turbo smooth and uh, change the parameters of turbo smooth change the iteration make it three and check the isolate display so you can only see the segments related to your editable poly now when you select the editable poly the effect will disappear because we need to check this show end result button here so now what we need to do we need to make this as smaller as we can let's use the scale tool make it smaller on all axes and we will do another insertion here so we uh, I think it's beneath here press insert and press ok let's do another bevel and the bevel value will be positive with a not much actually let's make it 1.2 Let's try the extrude first, see what we can get. Mm, let's make it 1.5, press OK, and then with the scale tool, let's make it, oh, I should drag it on the other direction. So now we need to make that button small. So while we still keep the selection, let's press grow. So we select the next segment and another grow. No, uh, shrink. Just these two, I guess. And now let's make a universal scale down. Just like that. So we get that button here. I think I think that's what we need. Okay, that's fine. Now we see that it's uh, it's similar to the one we got here in the render, except for these edges here are more accurate. These edges here are more uh, crispy, not very crispy actually, but a little bit crispy. How we can do this? We can use two tools and I will try both of them with you right now we change to edge mode and we go to modeling here edit and you use the swift loop tool we get closer and we create these edges as close as we can mm, 
and for the insert edge the inside edge tool I'd like to use it here let's let's make the uh, outside edges using swift loop and the other one using the other tool we talked about so I, I will pause the video until I finish all of them and then I will come back to you so as you can see here we created these edges using the swift loop so let's use the other tool let's go back to edge mode and let's turn off the show end result what we need to select here or need to do is to select these insert edges I will uh, right click anywhere so I can go back to my selection mode and I will double click these edges that I want to make it crisp how we gonna make it crisp I will press control to to select more edges so I press control double click to select these edges how we can do that we will use the chamfer edge tool so we finish this side another one here and that one I guess we still another one left here and that one this edge we double click while pressing control I guess all of them are selected these are all my edges so I go uh, yeah I've I finished all of them I select all of them so I go now to this show end result I will activate it again so I can see what's going on here I scroll down until I find chamfer and in chamfer I will uh, raise the number of steps make it 2 and we can change the value let's make it 0 0.5 that's too much let's make it 0 0.8 that's fine and press ok and now we get that shape that is similar to the one we have let's create a simple material for this let's go to material editor and this is the one I used for my shape I will delete it and create a standard new one I'm using here the scanlin renderer I go to diffuse color change the ambient color to any color you you like i like that pinky purple color press ok and now let's raise the uh, specular level to something like 30 and the glossiness make it glossy now assign material to selection and that's for this lesson keep up with the next one